We are constantly hearing about skincare and the best way to do it, but it's also confusing, especially as we age. So today we've got dermatologist and YouTuber Dr. Marin Locke, AKA the budget dermatologist here to give us the real deal. Yes, man. Hey. Hi, thank Hi. you for having me. We're nope. excited. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a big skin skincare guru. Well, you always want me to jump oh, yeah. in first. Yeah, not a guru. Yeah. Well, no, I I just I'm a sucker for for, for skincare. Okay, mm -hmm. so not a guru. <laughs> All right, Dr. Mary, we yeah. apologize. <laughs> we apologize before we even start. Let's get to it. We can't keep track of the ideal skin routine with all these steps, right? Especially me. So how can we simplify our skincare as we age? And is it different, like uh, the steps for men and women? Hmm. Yes, keeping it simple is the best way to go about it. So aim for a routine that's just a few steps. You wanna keep it easy so you can be consistent and that is how you are going to get results. If it's too complicated, you won't do it. And I see people make this mistake all the time. So in reality, Jeff, you can get a simple skincare routine at night, starting with just three simple steps. Start with a gentle cleanser, your treatment product and a moisturizer, and you can start getting results right away. Okay, so what's the best ingredient? Because we know the ingredients are very important. So what do we look for yeah. in a skincare product as we age? Yes, the best ingredient for anti-aging is a retinoid. I'm talking about retinol, retinaldehyde, or even prescription strength tretinoin. Retinoids are one of the only few ingredients that can build new collagen in the skin. See, as we age, we start to lose collagen from our skin and collagen is what helps keep our skin taut and plump and youthful. So we wanna use retinoids to rebuild that collagen. But Erica, the problem with retinoids is that they can cause side effects on the skin for many people, dryness, irritation, and scaliness or flaking of the skin. So you wanna start slow one to two times a week and build from there as tolerated. Oh, good good advice. Absolutely, and all right, Doc, let's get to the budget part of the dermatologist because yes. we know that skincare is super expensive. So tell us, is it possible to find products that actually work like from the regular drugstore? Yes, now listen, as a dermatologist, I have access to probably any product you can think of but you can still find me at the drugstore restocking my holy grails. The truth is you can get products that are great for the skin that are under $20, some even less than $10. You just have to pick the right product for your skin and go after products that have the ingredients in them that are going to target what your specific skin concerns are. I have a few of my favorite skincare brands that I like to shop at the drugstore. They are French skincare brands. I find that they do a really good job making products that are both luxurious and affordable. Ooh, I think I know what she's talking about. La Roche yep. Passée. <laughs> Yes, that's one of my favorites. Okay, I hope I said it right. Me okay. too. I wonder what that means in <laughs> French. <a> mortgage. Okay. <laughs> Our senior degree was like, what she just say? I hope I said it right. Okay, so what about, okay, tell me this, did. Marin, because I'm starting to get like rough, dull skin. My texture is changing. I'm not glowing like I used to. Um, so yeah. what, what do I need to do? Do I treat that with lasers or do I use a skincare product from, you know, the drugstore? <laughs> Great question, Sam. The first thing you want to do is try to put a topical acid in your skincare routine just a few nights a week. Do this on nights where you take a break from that retinoid product I mentioned so that you don't get irritation. Topical acids can really help clear away that dull skin or the rough skin texture and brighten your skin. Because what is happening as you age is your skin cell turnover is slowing down. So you get a buildup of dead skin cells on the surface and that's what causes that rough texture. So use a topical acid. One of my favorite things about this ingredient is that you can actually start seeing results right away. Ooh. Compared to retinoids that I mentioned, it can take several months before you get those results. but use one like glycolic acid, and you can start getting results right away. I love that. Dr. Merritt, how about quickly, is there a difference between like hand lotion and face lotion? Can I just put regular lotion no. on my face? Oh. It's way more expensive than face no. lotion. No, you're gonna clog the pores. 
Well, not if I yes, wash. Yes, I'm with Sam on that one. Yes, you want to use a dedicated face moisturizer for your face. They are formulated more carefully for that delicate skin. Typically, hand creams can be really thick and yeah. heavy. They have more of an oil component on it, and that might be a bit much for your facial skin. So you should what know Sam better. suggested, right? Yeah, what you a put that... novice question. No, I'm a guy. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? I'm balling on a budget. Yeah, right? you're not using La Roche. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, we making, all can't afford La Roche. No, they're making fun of me because of the way it sounds when you say the third part of it. Anywho, we appreciate you, Dr. Marin, for putting up with us. DBL Nation, <laughs> skincare, simple and affordable on YouTube. So give her a follow at the Budget Dermatologist to tra transform your skin without the big price tag. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you. Doc. Yeah.